What's up, it's DJ. Welcome to my channel. Now for your daily dose of the Jade Giants. Today's feature Hulk item is from the one and only Funko, the Pops. I'm not going to talk about Funko. Everybody should know Funko, uh, most popular vinyl company in the world. And I know it gets a lot of hate just because of the oversaturation of population. But when it comes to Incredible Hulk figures from Pops, I, I love them. I can't get enough. I hope they make a gajillion more. And I believe that they have come a long, long way since the beginnings of their, their pops. To Funko's credit, uh, in regards to Hulk, I think their new Hulk pops that they've been coming out with have been fantastic. So I'm not complaining. Now, in regards to the, the pop I'm going to show you today, um, they have the normal like 4-inch line and then they have the deluxe 6-inch line. And then they have the giant 12 inch and the rare 24 inch. Today I'm going to be showing you the six inch line. And this is from the infamous Immortal Hulk run. I think the Immortal Hulk run, comic run, is really, really, really good. And it was a savior to Hulk comics over the last decade. I think it's a pillar and built a lot of the foundation to the Incredible Hulk world building and dove into personalities of characters like the devil hulk which is the immortal hulk which i'm going to show you and uh just a really really fun run i recommend the comics the graphic novels and uh, i'm sad that that run is over to be honest but uh, I, I i i really like the pop that came from it so i'll show you what the pop looks like right now so here is the immortal hulk himself now i'm just going to start right off the bat just look at the design on this and just the style, the clear PVC. And I'm just gonna show you where Funko was. So this is the original Avengers Hulk, basically the first of two Hulks ever be, to be made. And this is where they're at now. So I think they've come a very far way. And the Funkos of today are actually amazing. So we'll start with the base. I like how Hulk is supported with this clear PVC. A gamma destruction as he's stepping. I'm not going to talk about the Mortal Hulk comic run, but this is from a very popular image and cover of the Incredible Hulk, and I thought they did a, a wonderful job with replicating that. This is basically indicating that Hulk is taking over the world and it's in the palm of his hands. And if you if you read the Mortal Hulk run, uh, he definitely caused a lot of havoc in the, on Earth and other places as well, and rightfully so, he deserves it. So this is Devil Hulk, this is one of the personalities. He's smart, conniving, strong, manipulative. He's more of an evil version of Hulk. I wouldn't say he's necessarily like completely evil, but definitely more on the, more on the vigilante side of things. So traditional purple pants, more clear PVC wrapping around him. Got the rips in the back, and PVC wrapping around there. A little fun generic version of the earth with it just blowing up and the core of the earth just erupting through and Hulk is just destroying it. The chest sculpt is okay, it's not bad. And then where the money is is definitely the face. I think they definitely showed Devil Hulk, Mortal Hulk, well within this head sculpt, especially in the eyebrows and the eyes and the shading, the evil shading around the eyes with the glowing yellow green eyes. I like the hair and more of the clear PVC wrapping around the back. So I'll get this to six inches and just a very, very cool piece. One of my favorites. I think it's in my top five of Hulk Funkos released. So Sculpt, I'll give this a 9.4. I think it's well-deserved. I'm very imaginative. I like that they, you know, took risks with this. And overall, I think it turned out amazing. For paint, uh, paint is, is pretty simple on this. You have the eyes and the hair and the teeth and the pants. Then they have the green, vi green vinyl mold. I noticed that the difference with quality of the vinyl here is more of a, a hard PVC vinyl and then you have the vinyl head. And all Marvel Pops are bobbleheads. So there is a difference in color a little bit. It's not, dra it's not like drastic or anything, but it is there. And also this is more of a flat green and it's more of a shine to it. So there is a little bit of variation there, but I'm not gonna dock them too much on that. So for paint, I will give this an 8.8. .8. I think it's very well done. I do like the earth, I like everything about it. 
quality Funkos, really good quality. There's really very little issues with them ever. It's a very stable figure. I love the clear PVC jutting out of the earth. It's a quality of this is excellent. So I'm gonna give the quality of this specific piece a 9.5. So overall, we're looking at a nine. I'll give this guy a nine. I think he's excellent and well worth it. In the box for price, you're looking at probably, I'd say $30, $35 for price of this. Funko prices have gone down quite a bit over the years, which is great for people who collect them that don't care about the boxes or care about any of that crap and just want the actual figure itself. So for 35 bucks, I think this is a great price and worth it to me. I think it retailed at about $25. And then there is a glow-in-the-dark chase, which I also have, that I'll do a review on on a later date. But I have that one boxed. And I just highly recommend this, so it's, it's awesome. I recommend the figure, I recommend the comic and the graphic novel, and that's it for the review. So thanks for joining me today, guys. I hope you liked the Immortal Hulk. Please Hulk smash the like button, subscribe. Let me know down below if you read Immortal Hulk, if it's one of your favorite Hulk comics, and if you miss it, if you wish it still was con continuing on, because I surely do. And um, if you haven't read it, read it. So that's it for today, guys. So have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. All right. Peace. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Yeah.